the support that we need by clicking the red subscribe button and click the bell icon to get uninterrupted notifications from TechSprout. Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be teaching you how to make lower thirds in Wondershare Filmora. So let's get to the tutorial. So what lower thirds are, are basically, you know, uh, text appearing in the lower uh, part of your clip. So for this project, we're going to be needing a sample clip that I have here. And uh, we're going to be adding, you know, like an introductory sentence in the lower part of the clip. So uh, lower third mainly uh, has some animation and we're going to be doing some basic animation that we can do in Filmora. So I'll just cut there with, the, with my ugly face on that screen and I delete the excess. So uh, once we have that, uh, we can start getting a little creative. So uh, lower thirds are basically already in Filmora. So uh, how to find them is the way. So you have to go to text and credit and you have to click this lower third subcategory and you can already see the eight lower thirds that are already there. I'll recommend this uh, lower, lower third one uh, because you know it has a fairly uh, modern animation and uh, that suit your clip. So you see we already have the basic lower third setup but uh, just not customized so you can double click the text and you can customize the text you can move it around you know you can move the text around and uh, you know you can also move the line around if you can just drag it you can also move that around so it's pretty cool like that you can also dim the opacity to make it disappear magic right there and uh, you can change the color you can uh, change the font uh, and you can do all sorts of things right here so I'll change that to black so there we go but this is not it you can see that the line there just appears and disappears it does not have that much of animation so uh, we're gonna be animating that line but uh, we can't do it with that line so we're gonna buy we're gonna you know like get another line so uh, first of all let's select that text so we'll select the text and uh, here we can uh, dim the opacity to zero so that the line disappears virtual match so once you have that uh, we can click ok and you can see that the line has totally disappeared and we can begin our magic so uh, we're gonna be adding another animated line uh, to that part so uh, we're gonna be adding an element to their space so we'll go and add an element which has some animation nice animation in it so I'll just you know change the text customize it a bit so that you know it doesn't become that boring as am I okay so once we have that we can do do this so we can see that the line has disappeared so we'll insert a new line by going in to the elements tab we can go if we can you know. yeah first of all let's leave it there so we'll go to the elements tab and uh, we'll go to the uh, uh, let me see oh yeah shapes so we'll select shapes and we'll uh, select this line with the slope animation on it so we'll add that and we'll uh, resize it to fit the effect so till there only and uh, we have our line so we now uh, need to adjust the position so we'll you know make it a bit small I don't want that big of a line so uh, and now it seems like I've messed up so I need to move the text now I really messed up let's stop so I'll make it a bit small and I'll move that up above the line yes and if I can just click, click select okay 
and move that a bit down and you can see the road animation really visible so that's what we needed you can also you know animate the rope but I'm gonna leave it at that because the animation already on it so that's basic lower thirds you know you can have this sort of nice little effect and uh, that's uh, you know like a nice introduction to yourself so uh, if you like the video uh, like hit the like button below you know, subscribe for more videos like this and comment below if you like this series and uh, uh, we're planning to do a little bit of uh, you know video editing with you guys and if you like it uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll keep on delivering so uh, that's it for the tutorial you can I know add some music and you know you can, you can do anything you like it's your choice but that's how to make a basic logo third in Windows Shaker 1 see you guys soon Jungle King signing off